Word problems generally refers to the problems in which there is a statement given. And using the information given in that statement, we need to answer a question using the help of maths. So in this video, we will learn how to approach and solve these kinds of problems. In other words, we will learn how to solve word problems. So let's begin. Hello geniuses, recently I got a lot of requests to make a video on word problems. So here it is. I also posted about what kind of word problems do people suffer from and mostly the answer was linear equations. So in this video we will take a simple linear equation question and learn the general approach on how to solve word problems. So the question is 5 years from now the age of Chekhov will be 3 times that of his son. Five years ago, the age of Chekhov was seven times that of his son. Find their present ages. Okay, now you have an opportunity to pause this video right now and try to solve this question yourself first and see if you can find its answer or not. So step one in solving any math problem is that read the question carefully. Now for solving a word problem, you need to keep these things in mind. While reading the question, you need to see what are the unknowns in here and assign a symbol to every unknown you see. Okay. And the second thing you need to see is what is relating that unknowns. And using those relations, we will convert this word problem into a mathematical equation and then we will solve our question. Okay. So let us read this question carefully. Five years from now. Jacob's age will be three times that of his son's age. Now see, we have two unknowns here, which are Jacob's present age and his son's present age. So let us assign symbols to them. Jacob's present age is X and his son's present age is Y. Okay, this was step one. Now, what is relating these unknowns in here? They are saying five years from now, the age of Jacob will be. So they are saying Jacob's present age X plus five, three times that of his son's age, which is equal to three times son's age is Y, right? So our equation is X plus five is equal to three Y. This is correct, right? Now, if you are saying yes, it is correct then you have fallen into the trap of this word problem because most of the word problem set traps to you that you can fall in. So in here, read this line again carefully. Five years from now, Jacob's age will be three times that of his son's age. Okay. So see, we have added five years in Jacob's age. But on the other side, we just multiplied three with his son's present age. But five years from now, his son's age will also increase by five. So the statement is not saying five years from now, Jacob's age will be three times that of his son's present age. They are not saying, they are saying his son's age. So the real equation will be X plus five is equal to three times Y plus five, because we need to add those five years to his son's age too. So from this, you can learn how important it is to read the question carefully and understand the question. And always remember there are traps in word problems you should never fall for. Okay, so now we have one equation, but see, we have two variables. And always remember that to solve an equation with n variables, we need n equations. So see, in here we have two variables, x and y. So we need at least two equations to find the value of x and y, which are our answers. So now let's read the question further. Five years ago, Jacob's age was seven times that of his son's age. So x minus five is equal to seven times y minus five. So never fell for the trap of seven y. It is y minus five because they are not saying the son's present age. They are saying the son's age. Okay. So see, we have two equations in here and all the information that can be extracted from the question is in these two equations. Now, one thing I want to tell you that if you can convert a word problem into a math equation easily, you can solve any word problem. Okay. 
Now another thing that I will tell you is that sometimes this happens that we have less equations but more unknowns. Then look for more information in the question because every word problem question in one way or another provide enough information to get to the answer. So if you don't have enough equations or more unknowns then look for more information in the question. For now we have enough equations to get to the answer. Now there are many ways to solve linear equation in math. There is substitution, elimination, cross multiplication and we can also use these three methods mixed. So in this equation we can clearly see if we subtract these two we can clearly eliminate x. So I will use elimination method in here. So now let us simplify this equation a little bit which are x plus y is equal to 3y plus 15. Now take this to this side. So we get x minus 3y minus 10 is equal to 0. And similarly for the second equation we get x minus 7y plus 30 is equal to 0. Now simply subtract these equations we will get 4y minus 40 is equal to 0 and from this we get y is equal to 10. So we have got one part of our answer which is his son's present age which is 10. Now put this y in any of the above two equations to get x minus 30 minus 10 is equal to 0 which is x is equal to 40. So the present age of Jacob is 40 years. So this is how easily we can reach our answer and solve any kind of word problem. In this video I took a basic word problem question which will teach a broad age group how to approach word problems. And if I got good response in this video I will make more specific word problem based videos which you can suggest in the comments of this video. So I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.